Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're going to go ahead and do a City of Greed gameplay review. Uh, if you're not familiar with what City of Greed is, it is actually a... Uh, it's almost like a slot machine strategy game on the Beam blockchain. Uh, Beam blockchain is a fairly new one. It's getting a lot of cool uh, feedback is from the community, uh, which is pretty neat to see uh, some new blockchains come out there with some cool games. So I wanted to go ahead and kick it off with this one as far as uh, the reviews go. Like I said, this is if you like strategy games uh, that, that have uh, just the fun kind of slot machine vibe to it, uh, which I haven't seen much on Web 3.0 space, uh, you, you, you're probably going to like this one. But before we jump into the video, please take the, a quick look at this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any project. Don't take my word for it. Just make sure it's right for your situation. All right, before we go ahead and dive into the actual gameplay itself, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the background of the game itself. This is on Beam and Ethereum as far as the blockchain goes. And like I said, it is a strategy game, but it reminds me also of a slot machine style game uh, with a big twist to it. Uh, it is a web-based game, so you can go ahead and essentially play it anywhere. It is mobile friendly, but it probably works better on a, a PC if you want to go ahead and try that. Uh, I was just recently released... Um, and then it, there is a free to play option to it. So if you want to go ahead out there, if, if what you see during this video is interesting to you, you can go ahead out there and play the free to play version, see if it's something that really fits what you're looking for. And then you can go ahead and move on from there, depending on how you enjoy the game from the free to play side. There is no uh, PVP version of it yet, uh, but who knows? You never know what's going to happen here in the future. Um, but as far as the gameplay itself goes, uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but it's also a whole lot tougher, uh, than you think. When I first started playing the game, I was like, oh, this is going to be simple. I'm going to cruise through this. No, no, it gets a lot. It's until you get the, the different parts of it down, it's, it's a lot more challenging than you think. So there's a lot of strategy that does go along with it. So let's go over to the, the website itself. As far as the structure of the game goes itself. Uh, it's pretty simple. Like I said, they have the free to play option, so you, you don't have to dive too far into it. Uh, but as far as playing the actual pay to, I guess the, the, the pay to earn or play to earn side of it, you are going to need a land for that. So you, when you're doing the free to play, you can't actually earn from the game. Uh, it just gives you a chance to get a feel for the game. And I suggest everyone that's interested in this, Try that first to make sure it's a game that you like before you go out and buy the land itself. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things in here. If, if you do eventually decide to go ahead and buy a land, I recommend not necessarily getting it off the secondary market right now. Um, there is Once you're going through the free-to-play version, there will be a, a deal that pops up. I don't know how long this deal is actually going to last, but there will be a deal that pops up uh, that gives you significantly discounted. Um, the only difference with that is it's RNG, so you can either get common, uh, uncommon, or rare as far as the land goes, but you also get a few other bonuses with it. The other thing that you're going to know with that is you know it's going to be a level zero. This is one of those few occasions uh, where it's actually better, I'm not level zero, level one. This is one of those few occasions where it's actually better to get a level one when you're starting out rather than a level two, three, four, or five, or, or anything above that. Uh, because as you get higher level land, it gets more difficult. And until you get a feel for the game, you want the level one. Um, I'm, my land's still level one, and it's probably going to be level one for a little while because I'm still having some challenges with the actual game itself. All right, when you think you're ready to go ahead and test out the game, like I said, it is actually on two different blockchains. I'm personally playing on Beam because I want to get a feel for Beam. Plus, Ethereum can be pretty expensive. Um, so I, I'm on Beam, and when you first go to the website, you're gonna actually going to see here it defaults to the Ethereum blockchain. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is hover over that, click on Beam, and it's going to go ahead and switch over to the Beam blockchain. As you see, it switched over there. Then you want to make sure that you have your MetaMask or any Beam wallet that you have available. I'm, I'm currently using MetaMask for mine. And if you go ahead and click on Play Game, it's going to take you over there on uh, the Beam network. You can see it up here. The the there will be a link in the description down below to the main website, uh, which is cityofgreed.com. And if you want to go to Ethereum, it's uh, eth.cityofgreed.com or beam.cityofgreed.com, depending on what blockchain you want to go to. 
And this is the first screen that you're going to come into here and you can see I have a land. I actually got lucky. Uh, when I rolled mine, I got an uncommon land. I totally thought I was going to get a common land because that's normally my luck. Uh, but I was able to get uncommon. And like I said before, you can either get common, uncommon, or uh, rare, which is obviously the higher rarity that's out there. And you can see I'm a level one. Level one is a little bit easier. Uh, so you can go ahead and check that out. And going across here, you have your lands. You can have multiple lands if you want to go ahead and play multiple lands. Each land is going to have a daily limit of the, the amount of times that you can go ahead and play within the game. I'll show you that here in a few seconds. But I wanted to, before we actually jump into that, is check out the player hub. So if you go ahead here, actually, we'll start with the training mode. If you click on training mode, what it's going to do is it's going to take you over to the free to play. You may also have an option here uh, that says either free to play or play, play to earn. Uh, that's also you just click on free to play or you go to the training mode if, if that's not an option there. This will get, allow you to go ahead and test out all five levels. Like I said, level one is the easiest. Level five is the hardest, but also has more options and more combinations that you can work with in there. So every level you go up gives you more combinations, but increases uh, the difficulty. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this off because I'm going to focus on my land that's in here. But before we jump to that, let's go ahead to Player Hub. Player Hub is going to give you all the background information you have. Uh, in order to buy the land within the game or anything within the game, you're actually going to need the ASG token which you can go over to the beam and if you have beam token you can go ahead and easily swap it there uh so you can go ahead and check out that and then you earn the different tokens within the game also uh this third token that's here when you first go to your player hub your first option is stash this shows you what's available in your uh essentially in your chest uh, or your pack uh, that you can use within the game there's the enrichment potions that allow you to refresh like i said before each each land has a certain number of plays that you can do in a day. Uh, if you want to reset that, you can go ahead and use an enrichment potion. Say you have uh, seven plays in a day. If I go ahead and use a large one, then I'll be able to do 14 in that day. Uh, it, your, your playing does refresh every 24 hours. Uh, next option down here is where you can deposit and withdraw your ASG token, which allows you to make transactions within the game. And then you have the marketplace. And this is what I was mentioning before. It doesn't show it here because I've already used uh, the sale that was there. But if you are at all interested in the land, uh, I mentioned don't go to the secondary market. You can go ahead here and it's discounted. It was about 200 ASG off, uh, at least when I bought mine. Uh, so it was, I think it was around 700 ASG when I bought my land. Uh, and it allows you to roll and gives you some rewards all, or some bonus items also. Uh, I won't go through all the details in the store. That's You can explore that. Uh, then when you're onboarding, there is a process where you can go ahead and if you play every single day while you're onboarding, you'll get some rewards as you're going through, uh, which all, rewards are always fun. Uh, and then you can go ahead and next one here is uh, right now they have a challenge going on. And it sounds like they have a challenge going on pretty frequently. Um, the more you play, the more points that you'll get here. And the higher you get, the more rewards you're going to get at the end of the time frame it is a two week long event that's going to go ahead and end here on March 12th. By the time you're watching this, it may have already ended. I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video, uh, but essentially, depending on where you land on the leaderboard, will give you a portion of the beam that gets released. And they're giving away 300,000 beam. That's a ton of beam. Um, so you can go ahead. You can see I just started a little bit ago. So my points are very low uh, compared to some of the other people that have tons of land and have a lot of time to play. Uh, but essentially you get rewards uh, just for playing. You get uh, right now when I'm recording this 150 points just for playing a game. If you go ahead and defeat the mayor, which we'll talk about here a little bit more, you get 300. So they have some events that are going on where you can earn additional items. And then the last item is just the settings, how you want to go ahead and set the different things up. So let's go ahead and actually jump into the game itself. So in order to play the game, I'm going to go over to my land and we're going to go ahead and click on play. And really what you're trying to do, we're going to go ahead and try again. Um, it's different stages. What they call is you pay your taxes different times because you have a land and it's a city agreed and it's the whole theme that goes along with it. But it's essentially different tiers and different waves as you're going through. It starts off pretty easy. I only have to pay a 10 coin tax and I have essentially five rules in order to get that. It'll make more sense here in a second. 
as you continue to go up these t pay tax periods, uh, you'll, that'll increase and increase and increase until you get to 10. Once you beat 10, then you go ahead and compete against the mayor. And if you beat the mayor, that's when you get some uh, rewards at the end of it. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the green one. And this is the layout. Like I said, it looks a whole lot like, like a slot machine, but there's a lot more to it than just rolling the dice and hoping you get the jackpot. So let's, uh, before we actually roll the dice and get into the details here, I want to show you on here as far as the upgrades and the info. Uh, on the left here, you got the play option first, and then you have the upgrade. This is where you can go ahead and upgrade your land. I don't suggest you do it early. I suggest you get uh, used to the game first, and then you can upgrade. But when you upgrade, you go ahead and you get additional combo options. Uh, you get additional times you can play per day and so forth. But the challenge, it does get more challenging as you go up. And then there's the information. This is where it's talking about uh, how many times you can play in one day. By default, the uncommon level one gives you seven plays per day. Every time I play this, it goes down and down and down and down and down. Once it get to, gets to zero, I have the option of waiting the almost eight hours in order for it to refresh, or I can go and click on enrich land and add to it. So that's that's just gives you a chance to go ahead and play some additional additional times. Now let's oh, now let's actually go to the game itself. All right, this is the layout. This is what you start with every time. Every single item that's on here is going to go ahead and give you some sort of bonus or some sort of combo bonus. So you got your strategy is to get the items that work together. So it's incredibly important as you're going through, checking each one, see what they give you. For example, Nico here gives me one coin every roll, but if it's next to one of those water bottles, uh, it gives you nine and destroys the water bottle. So that gives you a chance to get bonuses. So what I want to do is I want to try and get those water bottles uh, or some other items down here. So you'll, you'll see it more in a second. Across the top here, you have the, the, the next tax, and then you have the total rules the total coins you have, your wallet, uh, your rolls, and this remove, which we'll talk about here in a few minutes. So what I want to do to go ahead and get started is I want to roll it. And it's going to probably give me five coins because because that's how it works out to start. So I got that. And after every single roll, you're going to have the opportunity to go ahead and buy an item to put on that slot machine or that the spinny wheels, we'll call them. Um, and what you want to do is you want to go ahead through here and take a look at what's available. You can see this is the item. You see the, the basically the benefits that are in the green there, the cost of it down here. And you can see I don't have enough to go ahead and play with or to go ahead and buy that. If I scroll over, this one's eight. I don't have enough for that. But this one's three. I can go ahead and grab that depending on my strategy. And again, it all depends on your strategy. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this uh, just to show you. Um, you go ahead and purchase that. Essentially what this can do is it can go ahead and uh, when this, it has 25% chance to grow into one of these plants, which is similar to one of these or one of these, and it goes along with these different characters. So I have that out there. So I'm going to go ahead and roll. It's going to give me six. Uh, so it does cost one, oh, seven, sorry. It does cost one token to go ahead and roll. So every, again, after you roll every single time, uh, different items are going to come up. And the water bottle came up. We had talked about that. This matches up with that one character that I have out there, Nico. So we're going to go ahead and purchase this and add it to it and hope that they get side by side uh, after I roll. And then that gives me nine, uh, give me a total of 10 coins with a combination of those two. So let's go ahead and roll and see what happens. It did not go side by side, but I was able to get a bunch there. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, add another seed in there. Um, strategy becomes very important because you want to make sure that you have an idea of the combination. You don't want to just buy, 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 buy items because you'll run out of coins and you're going to be in trouble when it comes time to go ahead and pay your taxes. Uh, so in here, we have a couple options. Uh, we have the bubble, which gives you two, uh, which I actually may buy that. They have the chest here, which is critical. Uh, these give you a chunk, a chunk of coins but you have to have the tools in order to go ahead and use them. Maybe I'll actually go ahead and do this just to show you that. Hopefully I can get to that. Uh, let's go ahead and roll one more time. This will be my tax time. So I have nine. Uh, so I have a total of 19 coins. You can see I have to pay my first tax. You pay it. And then you go on to the next round, which is basically 25 coins and five rolls. And then what happened is the mayor went ahead and gave me these two 
uh, what they do is they remove different items from that. So if you have some items on your board that don't quite go along with how you're playing your game as far as the combinations go, you can go ahead and remove those from your board. I'm going to skip this because there's none of these items that I want on my board. And then we'll take a look at these. These are bonuses that sit on the bottom. They, they do not get removed from your board, but they give you bonuses based on where they are. For example, this one right here, the high speed drone. Every time I skip, every time I press this button down here, it's going to give me two coins but it costs 10. I can't use it yet. This one's going to go ahead and give me uh, three coins for every time dice rolls three or more. Uh, not something I'm going to be using. And this one uh, allows me to crush different elements that are out there, which again, I'm not going to be using. So let's go ahead and skip. As you can see, it gets incredibly important to know your strategy. So you're not just buying a bunch of stuff just to have a bunch of stuff. So we'll go ahead and take a look at these. That one I don't want. Uh, this one I don't want and this one I don't want. So we'll skip and we'll keep on rolling. Um, what they say as far as some suggestion goes, you want to try and get 20 coins above what the tax is. Uh, so for example, I'm at 25, the tax is 25. So I want to try and get higher than that. So I have a buffer in there. Uh, let's take a look at this. This one, this one's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy. Uh, not sure it's the right choice, but we'll go ahead and grab it. Uh, I'm still learning as you can probably see. There we go. You saw that bonus just happen right there. They were next to each other, gave you that bonus. So now it jumped me up to 37. I'm looking on here. The only thing that's interesting on this one is probably this guy right here. Uh, every time he's next to any of these characters, it gives you an extra coin. Uh, it's only four. So I'll probably, I'll probably earn that back pretty quickly. So let's get him on the board uh, and let's go ahead and roll again. Um, nothing really exciting there. I uh, did get this guy. Uh, I heard he's pretty good as far as some of the things that you want to go ahead and grab. So we'll grab the, the carrot uh, and then we'll go ahead and roll again. There we go. We got 12. So we are at tax time again at a perfect spot where we are at 45 coins uh, and the tax is 25. So let's go ahead and pay it. Let's go ahead and click on the next one. And it gives me some options to go ahead and buy. None of them I really want. So we'll skip on that. And then we are here as far as this goes. Uh, these are some things that are interesting to me. We got this guy who's going to go ahead and give me some higher tier uh, items. This guy's going to go ahead and you can actually see the character that's out there is one that I have on my board. So it's going to give me an extra token there. Uh, and then there's this one that goes ahead and those seeds that I was getting earlier. Uh, it's going to actually give you uh, a bonus. It, it's 100% that it'll grow. So instead of the 25 that it has. Plus, it's going to give me an extra 10 tokens. So let's go ahead and grab that one since I like to grab the seeds. Uh, so we'll go ahead and roll this one. Uh, now we're up to 20. And this guy, we're going to skip him for this time because um, I want to go ahead and build up my, my stuff a little bit more. Um, and then we got this guy again. I probably should have taken that one. Uh, see, it's all about the luck of the draw and it's all about uh, what you get there and as far as your strategy goes from the beginning. Um, but we'll continue to go forward. I don't want any of these. Once you start learning what the different items are, it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm not saying that I have the best strategy because I'm still learning the game itself. Again, probably should have grabbed that. Uh, we'll go ahead and skip. Uh, and then we have two more rolls in order to the, get to the next tax time, which I really want the chest breaker. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and grab this chest. Maybe you should have grabbed the ball. Now that I think about it. That was probably a mistake, uh, but that's how it is. That's how you roll. I'm really hoping that in this tax period, I'll get the item that allows me to open these chests because that, that's huge. Uh, these I'm going to go ahead and pass. He, I, I kind of want him, but I, I'm not sure if I'll get the next thing. Is that now? Nah, it's not it, uh, which is a bummer. Uh, so these guys are, they aren't bad. Uh, you get the combat drone, so every time something's destroyed, you get a token, uh, and then you can read the rest. This guy, I'm thinking, <laughs> thinking, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on him for now. I probably should have grabbed him, but because uh, I had this guy on the board, which give me uh, two extra tokens, uh, so I may regret that down the road. Uh, but eh, I am already regretting that down the road. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and grab him because I have a bunch of flowers on my board. He'll give me some extra tokens there just when he goes ahead and lands next to a flower and we got the bubble again. Yep. Knew I was going to regret that, but he's going to go along with these guys here. So that'll give me 16. Uh, if he lay the land next and there we go. We got that 16 there. So again, this game is all about the combinations, all about 
uh, strategizing for certain combinations. Uh, it's a little more laid back than a lot of games, so you can kind of play at your own speed. If I want to step away, I can step away, and when I come back, we'll be at the same spot. Uh, and then if you're able to go all the way through and beat uh, the mayor at the end, uh, which I have not had a chance to do yet, uh, you'll go ahead and get a reward. You'll roll a reward at the end of the end of the game itself, uh, and you'll get some beam or you get some other items that you can go ahead and play. Just want to see the roll here. Normally, I would go ahead and grab that, but I don't have 12. And nope, I didn't get the one. I, I'm, there's a certain item here that I'm looking for that opens chests. It gives you like a 30 or 35 percent chance of opening chests. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and fast forward through this. Uh, and we will go ahead and see how I end this round. I don't want to keep you sitting here for the next uh, 20 minutes for me to go ahead and end this. I should say 10 minutes because it'll probably end pretty soon. And as I expected, uh, unfortunately, my strategy talking and also trying to play the game at the same time did not work out well. Uh, I made a few mistakes along the way, but your, your goal is you got to go through and make sure you have the right strategy. Uh, but I can go ahead and play six more times today and see if I can go ahead and beat it. And the nice thing about the challenge that's going on every time I play the game, I'm getting 150 points towards that, where I'll hopefully get some of the airdrop at the end of the, the, the challenge itself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play one more game fast forward. So you're going to see go really fast. Uh, hopefully I do better this time. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and close out the video. Jumping back on here quick. This is actually the item that I was really hoping to get in the last game. It's just one, the pirate spear here. Uh, basically, it gives you a 35% chance to open a chest, which is a huge bonus when you're going ahead and playing. So that's going to help me a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. And since I'm grabbing this, I'll let me quick show you that. Uh, now this is at the bottom, so it's going to be on there for the rest of this game that I'm playing. Uh, and then next time I roll, I'll have a good chance of actually opening this, which gives me a ton of extra tokens. So I'll go ahead and fast forward again. Well, I think this is going to be the end of it. Uh, let's go ahead and roll. And uh, did I get lucky? Oh, I got lucky. So, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I just didn't get enough. Well, that's, you saw a couple of things that I made mistakes in there. There's one, there's actually two things throughout there that I really wanted that I couldn't afford because uh, I didn't have enough tokens. And there's a few I split second decided the wrong item and then regretted it afterwards. But that's the game. Uh, that gives you a feel for the game itself. It's it's addicting. It's fun. It's strategy. Once you get a hang of it, it's, it's, it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so going back, what are my thoughts of the game itself? Um, I kind of like it. Uh, it's it's simple. It's very simple. Um, I, I hope they add more to it as far as like seasons, and I hope they have more challenges involved, and add a few more small games or, or mini games to it. So they could expand it quite a bit. But it's new. It's brand new. Uh, as far as the game goes, it's fun to play. It's it's not too expensive to get into it, and they do have the free-to-play option. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are of City of Greed, and if it's something that you are interested in playing. Again, I'll have the link in the description down below. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.